Yo, what's going on my dudes? Welcome to another RuneFest 2018 coverage video. For this video, we're going to talk about the mining and smithing rework and what was revealed during RuneFest. So without any further ado, let's jump right in the video. Let's go. Cats is the illest. What you talking about, Willis? Alright guys, before we get into that, actually I want to quickly bring to your attention this thing. Thanks to Reddit user NinjaGamer1337, he posted that he found this in the game files and you can see the image here. Something known as an Adrenaline Urn. And it says here, it stores adrenaline that would otherwise be lost building past 100%. Stored adrenaline can be used to maintain your bar after leaving combat. And a couple of JMods have replied to this, but they've been extremely coy. So I don't know how this is going to come into the game, what it's going to come from, or what Ever the case may be but it looks like adrenaline urns are going to be a thing i'm not entirely sure how useful they're going to be because it's not going to work like a ring of vigor where if you just so happen to like build adrenaline past 100 and then you do like an ultimate it'll let you use that adrenaline that you built past 100 this is seems like it's only for if you leave combat so this item will ultimately just help you or make it easier so you don't have to stall between like boss kills if you're on long trips you have to stall between kills it looks like you won't necessarily have to if you're at 100% adrenaline with this item. I don't know exactly how useful that's going to be because most of us, you know, stall anyways. It's really a non-issue. It just saves you a couple of abilities every 10 seconds, but it might get some use. Let me know what you guys think about it. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. We don't know much more other than this. And once again, thanks to Reddit user NinjaGamer1337 for finding that information. All right, guys, with that being said, we're going to actually jump into the RuneFest coverage, talking about mining and smithing now. And I have I say this all the time because we have covered mining and smithing a lot I've pretty much dug into the nooks and crannies of really everything there is to talk about with mining and smithing rework so I'm not gonna really bother you that much but just to be thorough I'll quickly talk over what you can expect with the mining and smithing rework if you haven't been paying attention all this time so the big main changes with the mining and smithing rework they're gonna be squashing down the old tiers of armor to match that of the equipped and wield of those particular items for example rune requires level 50 to wield and where it will require level 50 smithing and mining to obtain. That means that they've had to add a slew of new tiers to fill up the gap beyond rune all the way up until the upper echelon in the 90s. Not only that, a big change to mining is there's not going to be any more competition because rocks will no longer deplete, so anybody can just mine the same rock and it's not going to really affect anyone in terms of how fast they're gathering ores. There's also going to be an ore box that will allow you to carry hundreds of types of ores, meaning banking to and from is going to be far and few between. There's also a metal bank that means all furnaces will be able to store your ores and your bars freeing up a lot of bank space and mining and smithing will be very afkable both of them having optional clicking and more intense methods that will increase your xp gains so ultimately those are the main changes with the mining and smithing rework if you haven't been paying attention up until now that being said i have information about when exactly we're going to get the mining and smithing rework as i said in a previous video a couple of days ago the open beta will launch next month in november I have previously thought that it might have been December because we haven't heard about any type of release dates. December being when I thought it was going to actually fully release into the game. However, it will be the following month after that, January. So it will be the first update of 2019, the Mining and Smithing Rework, in its full release finally. So I'm sure you're going to rest easy hearing that. It's just right around the corner. I'm really excited for it. That's not to say that they're not going to need a bunch of helpful reports on the beta in November. So do get into the beta and give your feedback on anything you might want to see changed. On top of this, I get this in my comments every now and then when I talk about the mining and smithing rework. If you're familiar, they had these old images that you're seeing on screen here of the upper tiers of the smith armors. However, they ended up not going with these and changed them. And I have covered about those changes in the past on my channel. But like I said, I time to time, I do get this comment where people say they preferred these old concept images. Well, I have some good news for you. No, they are not going to keep these old images as the new models for the armors, but they are making these concept art images available as overrides in some way. I don't know exactly how you're going to obtain those overrides, but you will be able to look like this 
when it launches in January. Like I said, they're not going to be actual armors, just overrides, but I'm sure some people are going to be happy to hear about that. Anyways guys, I'm not going to bother you too much more on it. Let me know if you're excited about it in January, and let me know what you think about everything discussed in this video, especially that adrenaline earn we talked about in the very beginning of the video. Do let me know what you guys think about it, and with that, I'm going to close out the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Peace.